Hey YouTube, what's up? This is part two in a series where I'm trying to build in public a bit. So I was working on this project from Front End Mentor. I've already built out the UI, which I showed last week uh, using Chakra UI. It's uh, all in Next.js and React. Um, and I wanted to transition to more of a full stack application and use Supabase to do that, which is an open source Firebase alternative, according to their website, at least. So it was really, really easy to get set up here. You just go to Supabase, sign up for an account using your GitHub, and then you can create a new project. Once you do, you wanna to go to your table editor and create a new table where you can enter your data. So here, I've created one table of product requests, and I've entered three product requests so far, creating um, several different columns for each section of data, so to speak. The one sort of complicated part to figure out was how I wanted to store my comments. Because each comment was really a child of the product request itself, there wasn't a need to have two different tables and then establish a, ra a relationship using keys. Instead, I'm storing the comments as an array of nested JSON, and we're just fetching each of those comments uh, on each product request page. So once you come into the Supabase dashboard, you set up your table and you start entering some data, you'll need to query for that data inside of your project. Supabase provides a library which makes that really, really easy to do. And you can see here in my, this is the project I was working on last week, same project. I am getting those three product requests in the exact same format. And all of the data is there on each comment page as well, or um, product request detail page. So here in the code, um, this is the index page. I've created a utility function, and then we're importing Supabase from that utility file. And inside of my fetch data function, we've repurposed it to, to use Supabase instead of just importing our starting data. And it's really as simple as just saying await Supabase from your table, which table you want in your Supabase project, and then you select something from that table. Here, I'm using the star to say select everything, but you could totally refine this query for something else if you wanted to be more selective with what you're getting. And I can show you that utility file as well which is really, really simple. I really like having a utility file just so that I don't have to call this function in several different files. I can abstract it away and have this just exist in one location and then just import this where I need it. Um, and then this is the, the starting data file that came sort of with the project. And this data is the same as what's in Superbase. I just went in and entered uh, these as columns and then taking e I'm taking each array of comments and putting it in there as uh, the, the comments array. So that's what I wanted to show off so far. Just I really wanted to brag about like how easy it was to work with Superbase and you know encourage you to, to use Superbase on your own projects if you're interested as well. What's next here is to finish entering the rest of this data into Superbase and then I'm going to try to get a working form on my comments page or my feedback detail page feedback detail, product request detail page. And um, my goal from the last video was to have that form work where you can enter a comment and press add comment and have it show up right there on the page. So I'm gonna get back to work on that and I'll update you in a bit. Four to six weeks later. Okay, so I did finish this project, but unfortunately I did not record a demonstration of it before deleting the database instance. I needed both of my two free Supabase instances to support the new project I'm working on, which required me to have a production and a development environment. Um, so this is where this video ends, but the next video that I'm going to be making will be showing my progress on my new application and showing how I'm using Supabase to support that. So if you're interested in that, it should be out very soon. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.